Well, this is fun. Um, I did a Q&A on Instagram last night and I had heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of people asking me to do like a tutorial of how to do my makeup because for those of you that don't know, I do my makeup a lot and I love it. It's kind of like a secret little um, passion of mine. And I do my makeup for lots of things, whether it's red carpets, photo shoots, TV appearances, um, music videos. So yeah, I thought that I would share some of the products that I use for myself um, and some of the little tips and tricks that I've learned over the years from these amazing makeup artists. And the first thing that I do before I put on a face of makeup is put on a good playlist. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm obsessed with making playlists and I think I'm kind of the self-proclaimed queen of playlists. And if you want to follow this playlist, you can. I'm going to put the link down below. I don't know how this works, so it'll be somewhere. I'll be back. So the first thing I do before I do my makeup is I will scrub my face, exfoliate, get rid of all of that dead skin, and then I moisturize. For me, Lemur moisturizing cream is the best because I've got super, super dry skin, and if I don't exfoliate and moisturize beforehand, I get these like weird dry things here, and I just look like a scabby freak. Um, so that's been done, and I let it kind of sink in. Um, so it's not kind of like sitting on the top of your skin and just wiping off as you put on your foundation. Then what I like to do, I've got this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid that's broken from traveling. <laughs> it's so devastating when you open your makeup bag and you've just got shit everywhere and stuff is just like poured on, there's foundation everywhere and there's smashed eyeshadows, kills my life. Um, but yeah, I just like to put some of this, and I don't even have to take the lid off and like pump it because it's just broken. Um, and I put it just kind of on the, the points in my face that I want highlighted. And I mean, that's a lot, but it doesn't matter. I like that shine, you know? Just came from the gym glow, slash just got dipped in gold paint glow. <laughs> And a makeup artist told me that this kind of helps to give that, I know you put highlighter on over the top at the end, but this kind of helps to give you that kind of like lit from within glow. Um, and depending on what I'm doing, especially during the day, I like to do this just because it makes your skin look like skin. It, you know, it's nice and you're a bit dewy and you've got a bit of glow. I hate, for me anyway, a really kind of set powdered face. I like it looking like skin and when you move, you can kind of see Skin. And because I've got heaps of freckles, I kind of like them coming through, like up around here. Um, but because I've got like a bit of redness here and little kind of, you know, I squeezed that guy before. Probably a bad idea before I film doing my makeup. Note for next time. I put on a lot of foundation, but it's foundation that looks like skin. It doesn't look like I've literally just got a paintbrush and painted it, even though that's kind of exactly what I do. So I'm a little bit white at the moment because it's winter. And so I'm gonna mix these two shades. This is Ellis Fast Skin Veil Foundation, which I really like for me, um, both for daytime, for red carpets, photo shoots, um, and for nighttime, and even for stage too, because it, it's, it's thick and creamy and it stays, but it still looks like skin. Um, you don't look like a cake face. So I'm mixing S103L and S104L. Usually I just use S104L, but this bitch is what? And I'm running out, so I've got a scab around the bottom. Do a feast. So then I just mix those two shades together. I put it on my hand and I mix the two shades together just with the bottom of a of a brush. I got harder in the nick of time. I do it all the time. I check it once and I check it twice. Oh! Whoa. So, yeah, so now that's all mixed in. Um, and the thing, here's another thing that I hate. And I get this every time I go to buy foundation, and that's why now I just order it online because I can't be bothered with people telling me the wrong information. So I go into the shop to go and buy my foundation and the person always wants to tell me that it's the wrong color for me. 
my face is super white. If I put the white foundation on my face, I look like I'm on my deathbed. I look like a ghost and I, there's no amount of bronzer that can warm up my face with that white foundation. I hate what I look like with super white foundation on. And the funniest thing is, is my neck isn't even that dark, but I will foundation all the way down to my cleat. Like if I'm wearing a deep V dress, I will foundation all the way down to my chest. And I use body makeup as well. I put body makeup all on my arms and my legs. I never go out without foundation on my body, whether it's my neck, my chest, even just I put a little bit of shine on here. It just makes you look healthy, especially in winter when you're not tanned. When you're tanned in summer, you don't really need it. But I, I look like I look like a glass of milk right now. <laughs> so foundation, this is going on. I'll just use this from here and I'll just put it on my cheeks. I hope you can see that going on. I don't have a proper camera. This is just my bloody phone. I like one of these brushes, kind of stipple it in. And I learned that instead of like, you know, lots of people like wipe foundation on, that you kind of just like stub your face with the brush and it just kind of sticks it all into your pores and looks really good. So here goes. Feeling this way. You gotta always do your ears as well. Cause there's nothing worse when you've got like a brown face to here and then like a red ear or a white ear. I'd want to be me too, but my ears do go really red, so it'll settle down. If I was you, I'd want to be me too. Blend it down the neck. And I know I said just don't rub it, but I'm doing it. That's what I do on here. So you can see, oh, I put a little bit there. Hold on. So this half, the foundation's on. This half, glass of milk. With a bit of paprika in it. <laughs> a bit of redness. And it's funny because I get people saying all the time oh why do you cover your freckles it's not that I want to cover my freckles I try not to cover my freckles but if I don't cover up here with foundation it's kind of red and then if I don't do it foundation all over my face because I said before I don't like the white foundation I look like a bit of a patchy freak so I do my whole face but the good thing with this foundation is that it does show your freckles do show through and it's really hard here to see but you can still see my freckles through the foundation. And I like that. But in some light, you know, some filters, you can't really see it. But I'm not trying to get rid of my freckles. Two. And then you always put foundation on your eyelids as well. And I just do everywhere. And you gotta get all the way up into your hairline because otherwise, you know, you've got like a super white scalp and it looks a bit funny. And that what's funny is that I, I posted a photo on Instagram. I went to a, my friend's wedding in New Zealand a few weeks ago and I posted a photo of me kind of standing there with my hair done and my makeup on in my dress and someone said that my roots looked grey, but it was only because <laughs> it was only because I'd put a little bit of like foundation like up into my roots, but it was showing in the sun <laughs> because we hadn't even gone to the wedding yet. We were just kind of getting ready at the hotel, and it was showing in the sun, and it looked like I had white roots. I was really, it was really funny. So just a tip: don't put foundation on your scalp. <laughs> Especially if you have dark hair, because you look like you're going grey. See, always learning. Even people bitching at me on Instagram, you still learn things. Okay, so that's my foundation. And some people don't like doing their foundation first, because the fallout from the eyeshadow. But I don't really get a lot of fallout from eyeshadow, so I don't really worry about it. The next thing I do is contour. And usually, I use this Tom Ford guy. 
but I ran out and I was like scabbing this I was like making this last for so long because it's my favorite and then I couldn't find it anywhere and I was getting really upset so then I ordered so then I was really desperate and I kind of had a look around and I ordered some new stuff and this is um, a new product that I've been trying, Nudies. And the color is Bondi Bay. And yeah, I just, you know, I follow lots of makeup artists on Instagram and I look at the products that they use and I like trying things out. Some things work, some things don't. Everyone's face is different. But I really like this color and I like that it kind of comes in a little stick. Um, and I can pop it in my bag and just give myself a bit of color whenever I feel like it. Um, so yeah, I contour through my eyes here. I don't really have much of an eyelid. Um, thanks, mum. <laughs> um, so I have to kind of create a crease on my face, otherwise I just kind of look like a flat pancake. Um, and know that when I say these things, I'm just joking. I get lots of people saying, you shouldn't say those bad things about yourself. I'm just joking. It's just being funny. Um, so I take a bit of this and I will put it through this kind of area to just create a bit of depth and shape. And then I take it through, so my brow bone is like just in there, but my eyelid finishes down here. So what I do is I'll just put the eyeshadow brush just into where I can feel the bottom of that brow bone and then I'll just scooch it around and blend it in and out. And that just kind of gives my face a little bit of depth and a little bit of shape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers to the freaking weekend. Oh, let the gemma sun sink in. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. I had a barbecue on the weekend. Oh my god. That's full blistered. I um had a drunk barbecue the other day and I was cooking after way too many drinks. And I fully burnt my arm. That's gonna scar. Better good. And my mind on my money. Gonna find me a honey. And then I take the same stuff because it comes down through my eyebrow and I just kind of thin out my little part Maori nose a little bit. And this is what one of my makeup artist friends, Dale, calls the instant nose job. And you kind of just draw the darkness where you want your nose to look thinner and it just creates a bit of a shadow and it gives the illusion that your nose is smaller than it is. And then you just kind of do the tip, just the tip. And then you kind of just take it under, add a little thing across there. And you just kind of blend it in. Make sure you blend it in though, because you look like a freak if you don't. You know, if you're after that kind of like Michael Jackson chic, tiny nose look. <laughs> and so, I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of, I kind of create this like shape that goes up and joins and goes down. So it's kind of all will let the end look seamless once it all blended in. It kind of just gives me some depth where I don't really have it and I really like and it warms up my face too it kind of gives me some some color in those areas after you've contoured down the sides you usually kind of lighten up the top bit that you want to kind of stick out because contouring and highlighting is all about you create you add darkness where you want to create depth like just under there 
and through there and then you put lightness where you want to kind of come forward which will be the tip of the nose under the brow just right on the brow bone and along the, the top of the of your cheekbone and I also do some just on the top of my lip but I'll do that at the end when I do my concealer so then I'm just gonna do some eyeshadow and for everyday face I just go really light I've got this palette that is awesome and it's got lots of different shadows light to dark they're all matte and I kind of stick to like the warmer lighter shadows for every day um, so I'm just gonna start with like this guy here it's a bit orange and when you first look at it you're like oh orange eyeshadow and so I just continue putting that through that crease that I've created above my actual crease. I might just do one eye at a time so you can see what I actually do. And I like that color kind of coming through the middle because then I blend it out and it just keeps everything looking nice and soft. So then I'll blend it out with like a blending brush. Problem. It's so funny actually trying to talk people through what I do because I just kind of go but actually trying to explain it and sound like I know what I'm doing is a whole other story. So then I'm going to go with like one of these brown guys, a bit of a, a bit of a soft brown through the crease. And then I just use the same brush that I did that guy with, with the, with the kind of orangey shade. And I'm going to take this kind of light, super light brown top color and just wash it over my whole lid. One less, one less problem. So it's a super soft shade. It kind of just looks like your eye, but it's not. And then I'm just going to take one of the darker browns, probably this guy. He's my favorite. It's been used a lot. And take that through that crease again, just to deepen it again. And I don't bring the shadow all the way down kind of through there because I want that inside bit to kind of stay a bit open. But you can see that this has kind of pulled this eye up a little bit and opened it a bit more. So I'm just going to go in and do the other eye now too. And then I'll just use this brush that I've been putting, the kind of warm orangey kind of shadow. And I'll just, I've already blended it out with my blending brush, but then I just kind of go over those edges with that warmth, just to kind of blend it out and make sure there's no hard edges and that it's all soft. So really that's my eye shadow that I do. It's just three different shades, a really light brown on the base, the warm shadow through the crease, and then a darker, brown that just kind of goes through that crease to just deepen it a little bit and the contour um and that's it i'll do my eyebrows now just so i get all of that shape i'm a freak with eyebrows i'm one of those people that like loves when people have really fierce eyebrows but i don't like them on my face i don't like a super severe eyebrow on my face i think it's just because my eyes are so big on my face i've got a really little head and my eyes are so big on my face that when I've got eyebrows, I just feel like it's just so top heavy and I don't like it. So the eyebrow pencils that I use are not necessarily the same color as the actual color of my eyebrow hairs, which are quite dark. Um, but I don't like a super black, dark brown brow on me. So I kind of use lighter shades, something that's got a bit more warmth in it as well as something that's a bit more like I this is a blonde eyebrow pencil um, this is Erin Big a blonde it's for blonde people like I'm clearly not a blonde but I just like the color and then this one I don't even know how to say La Sorcel 
Um, this one's a bit warmer and they, when I went in there, it was so funny. I tried on like so many different eyebrow colors at Mecca. And um, when I said the girl, to the girl, I want something warm, she was like, well, this is the one that I use for like redheads. And I really like the color. I'll go in with this one first, which was the, the blonde pencil, the lighter shade. And then I'll come back in with the warm one later. In my mind, saying it's gonna be alright. Play, 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 play. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it off. And so, what I got taught is that you start just doing the underneath part and you just solidify that line underneath and then you go in along the top. Lightning on my feet. Okay. So then I'll just fill in this bit that just doesn't want to grow no matter what I do. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's really it. I'll go in with this warmer pencil just to kind of fill. But that's really it. My brows kind of thin out like along here and no matter how much I grow them, they just don't want to grow. So I have to kind of do a lot on the outside part of my brow, but I really don't put a lot on the inside part. So that's that. One done. I'll do the other guy. It's just really hard doing this on camera. To this sick beat. And I actually just grew my eyebrows out a little bit because they were a little bit thin for my liking and looked weird when I was um, not wearing makeup and I felt like I looked like my 18 year old self again with my weird thin eyebrows <laughs> so I've kind of grown them out a bit which I really like and it's good because it means that I don't have to use as much on my brows to define them Oh my god, I don't know how makeup bloggers do the whole talking and doing the makeup thing. It's really hard. And why is it that you always have one good eyebrow and then one that just looks shit? No matter what you do. Like this is my good eyebrow and then this one's just... Anyway, I'm not gonna cry over bad eyebrows. So then along my eye line, I use this Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm not gonna try and do that like cool thing that bloggers do where they're like, look, and it like pulls focus and everything because it's not gonna happen because it's just my iPhone. Um, but I like this because I like this color. It's a nice warm color called Sienna. And it goes really nicely with these eyeshadows and I just do a nice little thin line along the eyelash that I'll then smudge out. Do anything for me. Who in the world? I have to tell you the funniest thing. You can tell this is my first time doing this because my phone just ran out of storage and just completely shut down and I'd had to spend half an hour <laughs> taking videos and photos from my phone and putting them on my laptop so that I could finish this for you. So <laughs> the light has totally changed, but I'm just going to keep doing the face from where I left off, which was doing my eyeliner, the light colored eyeliner, just along the line. And then I smudged it out with one of these little smudgy brushes. And then I go in after that with a darker color, same brand, Stila. This color is called Spice. And then this one, I try and keep quite a tight line on the lash line. 
and that kind of just defines the eye line a little bit more and gets me ready for mascara and I don't blend this one out as much as I blend out the other one and I like these eyeliners because you know sometimes when you put an eyeliner on really tight along your lash line and sometimes it transfers onto this lower whatever this bit is called <laughs> um, or like right in here I don't like that and these ones don't do that which is really nice okay I'm gonna smudge that just a little bit oh my god I'm gonna put my music back on okay so that's that and really that's the only eyeliner I put on for during the day um, because it's not too much and it's not too overpowering. Then I curl my eyelashes and I use this Shuomura Eye Lash Curler and I like this one because it's it really is one of the only ones that keeps my eyelashes sticking up. I've got weird little stubby like barely there eyelashes and this kind of is the one that out of all the ones that I've used that works the best and sometimes I get the hair dryer and just warm this little bit up a little bit and it just helps to keep the eyelashes up but I'm not going to do that today because I can't be bothered and what I'll do is I will clamp them for like five seconds each side and I'll go back and forth about four or five times just until they're sticking up because they're pretty stubborn my four eyelashes that I have and then I use this Dior mascara and I swear, out of all of the mascaras I've used, expensive and cheap, this one is the only one that these stubborn little stubby eyelashes want to stick up with. And people say not to use waterproof mascara because, I don't know, they fall out or something. But honestly, I can put mascara on. Mascara that people say, oh, this is the greatest mascara ever. And my eyelashes go from being curled and sticking up to just like, literally going straight out or like even worse like tucking the other way back down I don't know what it is but this is the only stuff that works on my eyelashes so here goes oh don't you hate when that happens okay mascara is on so then I I'm going to go in and do my concealer. This is the concealer that I really like. Like everything else, it's creamy. It kind of looks like skin. It doesn't get all built up and weird in your creases. Um, and it's really nice. And I like the way that you apply it. So this is Shuomura Point Concealer. I use medium beige. And I just go in in this kind of triangle under the eyes. And then I kind of just go up towards the temple there. It's kind of like in a bit of a triangle. Straight down the side of your nose and up out to the corner of your eye. And then I will use the rest that's on the tip here. And I'll kind of just draw a line straight down the middle. And see that kind of brings out that like... I've done the contour down the side and then this kind of brings out just the bit of my nose that I want to look real skinny. See how much skinnier my nose is? Who would have thought? And then I use more of this leftover and I just put it on my chin and just under there. And then I just use my finger because I think that using your finger just kind of helps it just melt into your skin a little bit better. And then I will take, go right up to the lash line and then I just kind of take it all the way up and blend it up to my temple. And so it kind of creates that lightness all the way up that will be sitting above where your contour goes.
Check out that skinny nose. Okay. That's all done. Now all I have to do really is contour and highlight and my lips. And I'll um, put gel in my eyebrows right at the end and powder down. Usually I use this Tom Ford shade and illuminate contour thing, but I have been running out of it slowly and I've been scabbing these last bits for so long. I love it so much, but I can't find it anywhere and I hate going to the shops. And I can't find it online, I can't order it, it's all a little bit too hard. So I've got something else. I'm trying out this new Nudies all over face colour. I ordered it from Sephora, I think. Um, and the colour is Bondi Bay. And I really like it because it comes in this little stick. Oh my god, I talked about this before. Anyway, this is really good. And so I just kind of put it where my right under where my cheekbone is into like where my ear and those like weird little baby hairs are and I kind of just bring it into where you would see your kind of cheek go under like that and the good thing about these is that during the day you can as it kind of melts away into your skin you can keep applying it and it doesn't like with powders when they build up they can look a bit dirty and I hate that look then once I've kind of done under here I'll go up into my forehead and I kind of just color in all up in there, a little bit around the face, a little bit around the top, but mostly in these corners because it kind of just shapes your face a little bit and then I'll blend it out. I do a little bit, not a lot, just under my chin, get that movie star jaw going on. So. I just take a, like a flat foundation brush and then I just kind of pat it into my head quite aggressively. And it just blends on in. See? Look like I've been to the Maldives. Then in under the cheekbone, you have to take it all the way up and into your ear. So it doesn't look, so there's no like weird line here. And then I just, we'll bring it a little bit forward as, as well, more onto the top of the apple of the cheek, just cause that's kind of, it blends all in nicely. And see, it kind of just gives you that shape on your face. In your eye. Always make sure you blend it. Otherwise you look like a tiger. And then sometimes I will go over it very, very lightly with some powder bronzer just so that it kind of sets it in but I don't use a lot at all it just kind of gives it some more depth F -R -I -N -E -S. and the same way that I apply foundation is the same way that with contour with the blush anything like that with concealer you just dab it into your skin so you're not wiping away what you've already done that's done. Now I will put on some blush. This is the NARS multiple. The color is Orgasm. Again, I just use my finger. Have a little smile. I really can't recommend cream products enough. It blends so nicely into your skin. It looks natural. Well, as natural as having a face of makeup can be. Um, Powders just especially during the day can just start to look a bit gross on the top of your skin, especially on a warm day. You know, you sweat, it all just kind of brings it all to the surface and it looks gross. But I really like cream stuff. 
because that just looks really nice on your face. Then I just put a little bit more of this stuff that I used before, crack its neck open again, and I'll just put a little bit just along the top of the cheekbone, a little bit down my nose. I used a bit too much there, but that's okay. And then again with that finger, dab it in. And you don't want to bring it too far forward because you don't want here to be really shiny. You want kind of here. I'll powder that in a second. But you just want on top of your cheekbone and kind of, kind of in here just to be a little bit glowy. Down the nose, catches a bit of light. A little bit on the lip. The top of the lip lips and for lips I like this color I use it all the time I always get comments on it it's just a lip liner I don't really like lipstick I don't like the I feel like lipstick smells and it makes your breath stink I don't like it <laughs> Maybe that's just me um, but I prefer a lip liner it stays in place a lot better and this color is really nice it goes really well with this kind of cheap color uh, so I just Line the outside of the lips and then I'll go and fill in on the inside. Oh, I really should sharpen this. Oh well. Just gonna powder a little bit. I don't really like lots of powder. Really, see where, where there's a bit, little bit of shine just in there? This shine is okay, we want that shine. But this shine just in here, we don't want. So I just kind of put it in there. I put a little bit in this section. Bloody dandruff coulter. And then just a little bit under here just so that it doesn't wipe away during the day. Fighter. And I just use one of these little brushes, the same brushes I use to blend. Obviously not the one that, the actual one, I have two of them. This is just for powder. The other one's just for blending. And this powder I've had for ages, it's just colorless translucent powder. And I'll be Devo when it's finished. I'm sure I'll be able to replace it. But. So yeah, I just add a little bit in here. Same way that I apply everything, I kind of dab it in, not, you know, you know, brush it around. A little bit under the eye, down the side of the nose. For under here, I'll just use one of these powder brushes just to really dump that in. Blend down the neck. Another tip, just on this section here, you get some of this shimmer that you put on the top of your cheeks. And you just, just put it on there. And it makes them like, get that sexy glow. Look at that. And one last thing I do on my eyes is I just put just under here, I use that kind of orangey shadow that I put through here. I just use a little bit of it, on a little brush like that. And I just kind of take it a little bit in there just to add a little bit more definition to the eye. I don't always do it. Um, I get more comments about people saying I look young if I don't put anything under my eyes. Now that's not right for everyone. But when I don't put a lot of heavy eyeshadow underneath my eyes and I just keep it more on the top, I get heaps of comments from people saying, oh my God, you look so young, you never age. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> so I only really ever put just a little bit. A little bit of mascara down the bottom.
I mean, that's really it. Oh, the last thing I do after powder and everything is I set my brows. So I just use some brow gel. Baby on the avenue. And I brush them up. Because brushing up your eyebrows lifts up your face and I don't know, something like that. There we go. And that's it. Bit of lip balm at the end. Final blend over the eyes. And that's it. It's quick and easy. Usually this face only takes me about 20 minutes. Um, especially in the morning when you want to get out of the house it's really quick really easy it looks like you're not wearing makeup it's natural it's pretty it's just enhancing your natural beauty so I hope you learned something from this um, I'm you know I'm really lucky that I've been able to work with all of the people that I have over the years and I've um, been able to even help my friends with little, some of the little tips and tricks and products and things that people never knew and I, I also hate seeing when people are getting sold terrible products whether it's in you know a department store or people getting bad advice and I'm not saying that I I'm going to be able to solve all your problems and that I've got the best advice going around but I feel like I have learned some awesome things and if there's something that you can take away from this I'm really happy about that um, and if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if there's something else that you want to know specifically just put them in the comments if there is something else you want me to try and, and post for you, I can totally do that. Um, just let me know. I get lots of people asking me about doing my makeup and doing tutorials for smoky eyes and contouring and how I do my makeup for stage and how I do my makeup for the red carpets. Even for my wedding, I did my own makeup. So I, I would love to share all of that with you guys. And um, I get asked about my workouts and about cooking and I want to share all of that with you. And I think YouTube is a great platform for that. And so um, I'm going to be posting a whole lot more for you guys. So subscribe and comment what you think and what you want from me. And I'm going to try and do that for all of you guys. So thanks for watching.